been turning out to your first alert forecast. We're watching the wildfires Western North Carolina very closely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when it comes For to sure. air quality concerns, but also here at home, temps have been pretty warm recently. Yeah, yeah, I know they've been kind of <laughs> fueling that fire. We haven't seen really anything, unfortunately, to tamper it, especially mm -hmm. with, you know, rain. We, yeah. need it. we need it. Yeah, we, we've had a lot of ups and downs of temperatures, but certainly the last couple of days feeling more spring, summer like mm -hmm. outside. Um, and again, that doesn't help with the fires up in North Carolina. And then, you know, for us here in the upstate, we've been smelling some of that smoke, but it hasn't been too dangerous for us here. Uh, but we're looking at more in the way of low 80s, but a big change is coming. We're going to go from the low 80s to the 60s on Friday, and showers will be in the mix. And look at that dip. It's just going to keep going down into the 50s by Sunday, and we could even get a few more showers Sunday too, but the bigger show when it comes to rain is going to be on Friday. So factor that into your plans. High school football could be just a little bit soggy, but man, we need it. So hopefully we can just grab the rain jackets and tolerate it. It doesn't look like thunderstorms, thankfully. 50 tonight in the upstate with mostly clear skies. And look at these numbers. We're going to be close to records tomorrow. Uh, looking at 80 for Wednesday, 82 is the record. 81 Thursday, and that would tie the record if we do make it up there. Uh, so we are definitely dealing with abnormal heat for this time of year. Now, what is very normal is for all of our trees to be dumping the leaves all over the place. And again, unfortunately, that's adding to the, the kindling, the fuel for those wildfires up north uh, in the mountains. But for the upstate, more of a nuisance. We're having to rake all this and blow it, blow it around. Best time to do that is going to be Wednesday and Thursday, because Friday we will have a little bit of rain. And winds will begin to pick up into the weekend, but uh, really it's just those wet leaves that are the hardest to rake up and blow uh, into uh, the afternoon and evening hours. So let's take a look at your future track for rain. This is the, the game changer I was talking about. And again, it's not going to be a huge rain, but it's something we really need right now. Uh, just any little bit will help. So we've got some rain approaching the mountains Friday morning. We've got a little bit in the upstate too, because so it could start as early as the morning commute, but most of it going to be pretty light. Here we go into the four or five o'clock time frame, still seeing some light rain lingering. And then a lot of that's going to exit Friday night. We get a break on Saturday and then a disturbance develops along a front to our south. And notice it tries to pull in some decent rain up to Atlanta, but not quite into the upstate. Might get a sprinkle or two out of it, but doesn't look too promising. Once that's all out of here, it's actually going to start to warm up again. We're looking warmer than average, uh, especially for areas up toward the northwest. And actually, that warmth is just going to keep building next week. So we're not going to be dealing with uh, much in the way of cool weather, unfortunately, for those of you who'd like some of that. Uh, and when it comes to rain totals, we could see up to a half inch of rain out of this round, uh, just depending on where some of the heavier downpour set up. So this could be a really good thing. Thing, uh, for those wildfires. We're going to keep our fingers crossed on that one. As we go toward Friday, 50% chance of scattered showers, only a 20% chance this weekend. Veterans Day looks pretty nice, 61. and not expecting much, if any, rain, just about a 20% chance there. And then next week, mostly sunny skies and temperatures will start to slowly warm up in the mountains. A first alert weather day tomorrow because that air quality is unhealthy for sensitive groups and then a good chance of rain Friday. And again, that's what we need to help out with that air quality situation. Be sure to download the Fox Carolina first alert weather app. Scan the code on your screen. Get the app for free. This is the best tool you can have when you're out and about. We can send you alerts on what air quality as well as winter weather down the line and you get exclusive forecasts from your first alert weather team.